With a killer singing voice, my guest today has been a standout every time I've seen her on stage. She's appeared on Broadway as Jan in Greece, Sherry Renee Scott's backup girl on the left in Everyday Rapture, and that Bless the Lord girl in Godspell. Now she's taking the lead in the new off-Broadway musical, Dogfight. Please welcome Lindsay Mendez. Yay! Hi, how Cute are you? Claps. I'm so great. How are you? You, you? want some applause? To well, I gave, my, I gave it to myself. It's good. <laughs> yeah. People sometimes feel like it need, there needs to be applause. Well, I know, yeah, I mean, the studio, no studio audience. audience. I'm it's, sorry. It's all right. They're at home. Uh, how are you? I'm great. Are I'm you really good? good? Yes. Are you, you're in the midst of launching a brand new musical. How's that feel? <laughs> yeah. Um, crazy and really fantastic. I mean, it's like... A whirlwind, for sure, but um, but I'm having a ball doing it. This project I'm very excited about. I, I, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm very excited about <laughs> it because you know how you... First of all, I love you. I, th I think you're terrific every time I, I see you. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. <laughs> um, and you know how sometimes you have like little movies or albums or people that you love that you think no one else knows about? Yes. And that's what this movie is for me, Dogfight. Yes. I, I, love, this, I love this movie when it first came out. And, uh, and then I was like, oh my God, they're making a musical out of it. That's amazing. Oh my God, Lindsay Mendes is gonna be in it. That's amazing. So <laughs> I, I, this is like, this is the event of the summer for me. That is, I, thank you. I, I, it's the event <laughs> of the summer for me too. Um, I'm so, I, I had never seen the film, uh -huh. um, but I know that it has like a strong like cult following. Yeah. I think it was kind of a small, Film. Well, I actually um, read it. it only played like two theaters. Yeah, it, well, it was it was released. Yeah, v just at a couple places. Right. But um, but it has kind of this really strange, like awesome following. Yeah. And so, I, and I feel like people who don't know it will come and see the musical and just right. love it for being the musical. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm the one like freaky fan of the movie. So. Are you going to be like <laughs> saying the words with me? Because you know some of the it, it depend. You know they've definitely expanded it, but right. you'll you'll know some of the lines. Well, <laughs> I'll see you. So this is a movie uh, with Lily Taylor right. and River Phoenix, right? And I think they're both amazing in the in the movie. Oh, they're what did you think when you sat down and watched it? Um, was I, it after you got involved in no, the musical? No, no, no. I um I had the audition, okay. and so I went on iTunes and rented it. Yep. And um I, I just thought it was so special, and yeah. it's like, it's such a quirky, like awkward movie about like these two people that don't understand each other uh -huh. and are kind of like. I, I, trying to figure out how to like relate and I mean Lily Taylor is so unbelievable and I, I just watched it and I was like god this character is so fantastic and yeah. to like musicalize her and yeah. and to like flesh her out even more in a musical it was like it was just a dream I mean I, I just I watched it and I got so like pumped up about it and I was like I have to do that like I have to do this so her name is Rose Rose you are now mm -hmm. playing Rose, Rose. Fenny. Mm -hmm. she's uh a beautiful character. She is sort of this. It's it's early in 1960s in San Francisco, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And 19. she's sort of this awkward girl. Yeah, she's just an awkward. She 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 um, you know, is is um a little bit shy, and she um she just doesn't really know to do any better than how she does with how she looks. I think right, right. she does her best, but there's always a misstep, and <laughs> right. you know. But we love her for that, and and she um. She's just, yeah, she's an incredible character. So we're not going to give away everything about this show, but we will explain the title. So there's this guy named Eddie Birdlace. Right, played by in, Derek Klenna. Right, and uh, he's a Marine. He's a Marine. Mm -hmm. Right, and he's getting ready to ship, get shipped off to Vietnam. Yes. So it's his last night. Right. And all the mean Marine guys, they have a contest who can find the ugliest girl. Right, and they which bring is her. Which the dog fight. Mm -hmm. Yes, they bring her to the, a party. And poor sweet Rose gets roped into this. She does. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> it's it's so heartbreaking. Sad. It really is. And they and the girls don't know. They're not told yeah. that that this is happening. Right. Um, they just think that these cute Marines are asking them on a date. Right. And and Rose is actually a beautiful character and but she sort of rats her hair and Right. Yeah, I mean, she, she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't know never, how to. She's never been to a party before in her yeah. whole life, and a boy has never given her attention or asked her out. She just works. She's a waitress, and you know, lives her small life with her mother. And um, so this boy comes in and tries, you know, and and is all over her and giving her attention and talking to her, and she's just overwhelmed. And then she's like, "A party, great!" And she gets all dolled up and like really tries her best, and goes out with him and is just so happy and so excited right and um yeah so do you have a good wig with the, the ratted up hair and the i do yes i do <laughs> i have i have a, a great a great wig the whole the whole get up is so 
w sweet and and so sad, <laughs> which is so perfect. I, it's yeah, it's awesome. You're a, you're sort of a, an up and coming girl with a big voice, and I know you get asked. You do a lot of benefits, yes, and you 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 meet a lot of like up and coming songwriters, yes, and and. You know, there are a lot of people out there whose names I hear thrown around, like uh, P Pasek and Paul, right? Mm -hmm. Benj Pasek and, and Justin, Justin Paul, Paul yeah, who wrote Dogfight. Dog Fight. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's funny because a lot of up and coming songwriters write like song cycles, I find. Sure. And, and they actually are, are writing like a, a real book musical, yes, yes. which is exciting. So it's, it's literally like the launch of, of Two New Guys. Yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, this is their first show in New York, which is amazing. Um, they also have A Christmas Story coming out uh -huh, this year as right, well. So they right. have two book musicals, which is right. unbelievable. Um, but it, it's nice to, to do, I've done a lot of song cycles and I've done a lot of that kind of stuff and yeah. it, it's so awesome to get to like create a real character and yeah. follow follow a show like through you know with with her yeah. and um and it's and the, the music is so awesome uh, their stuff is i mean it's just beautiful and it's, it's catchy and yet complicated and and um it's just i, I think the score is bomb diggity it awesome. is so good yeah awesome so tell me about your leading man I think we saw him in Carrie. Right? Yes, you did. Yes. yes, he played Tommy and Carrie. Derek right. Klenna. Right. He is so awesome, yeah. um, and his voice is out of this world. Yeah. Um, and he does all the big singing. I mean, I I definitely sing a lot, but he has some big singing, and uh -huh. he just kills it. And he's just. I think everyone in New York is going to fall in love with him. Easy I on know. the eyes too. Oh, yeah, easy on the eyes. I mean, come on. Yeah, my job is not hard. Um, he is he is gorgeous, but he's also he's a beautiful person inside, and it's just I couldn't ask for a better partner, a better leading man. It's 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 just been it's been a dream to work with him. So Joe Mantello is directing the show. Yes. Well, you might have heard of him. He directs yeah, something called know. Wicked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, starred in the Normal Heart. I uh huh. Mean, Joe Mantello. Uh huh. Yeah. That's... Uh, was that? How, what was it? First of all, I, you're one of those girls. I'm like, well, have you ever auditioned for Alphaba? No. You haven't. Okay. Mm -mm. Have it, have have you heard comparisons to like Shoshana Bean in the past? Definitely. And, I mean, you well, definitely because, have that type of voice. Yeah, and you know, with Godspell as well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah right. I have. But I, I never had gone in for Wicked. It just it never had has come up for me. But um, but I I had, I think Joe Mantello is just the most you know one of the most brilliant actors of our time and directors as well and so when his name was on it i was like okay you know and i was also like well let's let's get real lindsay like you know are you gonna star in joe mantello's new musical <laughs> i don't know if you're <laughs> uh, if you're ready for that um but from the first audition i met him and he just was unbelievable and and he the way he works with actors he's so smart and he takes his time and and he really, that's his favorite part is like developing yeah. the characters and really like arcing the story. And he's so supportive and he makes me feel like I can do anything. And, um, and I just, he, he has just really changed me. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world to, to have this job. It's also to, this is your first big, big lead we've seen you do yeah. here in New York. Yeah. So uh, what's, it, what's it like? I mean, you, you've you been on Broadway, you debuted in Greece. Mm -hmm. what, how, how many years ago was that? Uh, five years ago. Five years ago. Mm -hmm. So you, you've, you've been around, people mm -hmm. know you now. Is it sort of like, what's it like like looking for that opportunity? You know what I mean? Like waiting for that, like you're like, okay, I, I can sing. Well, yeah, but I, I don't. But I can also do a lead and yeah. give me a chance. I, and I didn't know if, you know, because I'm not, I'm not the quintessential like ingenue you uh -huh. know, and, and, and I, I was never sure like what that thing was gonna be that was really right for me. Yeah. Um, and I think when I saw this movie, I was like, this is it. Yeah. I, I don't know, I'm still kind of like, wow, this is happening and I'm steering this ship, you know, with, um, with Derek and, um, and it's, I feel like luckily I have amazing support. Having Joe Mantello and having Chris Catelli, who mm -hmm. I did Godspell right. with as well, right. um, having them like kind of be my champions and like cheering me on it, it feels it feels right like I feel like okay I'm ready like I can do this you yeah. know and then there's days where I'm like oh I can't believe I'm doing this like I'm used to being <laughs> in an ensemble show where you know what I mean where I can like do my thing and then d d take a minute you know <laughs> but but I'm like I, I feel like everyone you know if you're so lucky to get your turn yeah. you know then you like 
take it. Now you're from California, right? You grew mm -hmm. up in Southern California. Yes. Mm -hmm. What what is Mendez? What's your ethnic background? Yeah, I'm um I'm Mexican. Okay. Well, I'm Mexican on my dad's side. Okay. And then the white side is like Russian Jew. Uh huh. So okay. Yeah. A Mexican Russian Jew. Uh huh. Yeah, you know those people. <laughs> There's so many of them. Yeah. Yeah. So when did Lindsay, little Lindsay Mendez open up her mouth and this big voice first fly out of it? When I was little. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I've been belting. I've been belting a long time. Really? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I always I loved to sing, and my mom um, and dad they they found that I loved Annie when I was a little girl, and they put me in voice lessons, and I just grew up kind of you know having a loud mouth and. Were you singing to the Annie album? Oh yeah, of course I was. Yeah. Of course. And my first role was, you know, Gretel in The Sound of Music. She didn't get to belt very much, but <laughs> you know, she found her moments. But um, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I always, I just always loved to sing. So, what were other like Broadway uh, albums you loved as a kid? Or was it Broadway? I mean, when did you discover Broadway? It was Broadway. I, I mean, always. I mean, yeah. uh, that was yeah, always the given. I, um, I loved. I mean, when I was in high school, obviously that was when like. Jason Robert Brown first became like really popular, and so I loved you know Braid and the last five years. Sh and Sherry Renee Scott, you had Sherry Renee Scott's voice of like, course. in your head. You ended up working with her. Yes, uh, that was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, I uh, I loved Rent. Yeah, you know I was I, I, all of those types of shows, and then I loved Judy Garland as well. And I watched all those old MGM movies. I loved that. So that and you kind went of to like me. a high school performing arts high school, right? And like a lot of like Broadway talent has come from there, right? Yeah, yeah. Matthew Morrison okay. and Stephanie J. Block and Susan Egan and Krista Rodriguez, quite wow. a few people that are all my friends. And so what's kind in of the water little, there? I mean, I don't know. Something's working over there. It was there. good. Yeah, we they they put out quite a few people that are out here, and and it's it's great to have that community out here. So did you always have it in your head like I'm going to move to New York? after this and I'm going to do this. Yeah, I think there was no other option for yeah. me. I just knew, yeah, There's I no knew backup I wanted. career or? I mean, stupidly, no. There wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, no, this is, I, this is the only thing I'm, I'm good at. Really? Yeah. I feel like this is, yeah, this is all I have. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this is it. So, you know, I was like, I guess I'll, I mean, I spent my whole life doing it. So I just kind of felt like this was the only thing I was really passionate about or I felt like I had something to share. So. so what was it like moving here? I know you already, you like work professionally in California, right? You already, yeah. You worked at uh, Reprise? Reprise, uh-huh, Repri yeah. Reprise, Reprise. Oh, I mean, the tomato, tomato. The of LA. Yes. I worked at Reprise um, when I was in high school. Right, okay. And, uh, and then I, I moved out here after that. And um, it was scary to move out here, but I, and it took me, you know, I had to kind of find my way um, but I loved it here from, and I felt, I just felt so much more like myself here than uh -huh. I did in LA. How soon after that did, did Greece happen? Um, just a couple of years. I was really lucky. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what, what did you do for those couple of years? Were, were, um, did I did, I did, um, I did a show called, um, Princesses. Oh, David I, saw, I Princesses. saw you in Princesses. You did? Actually, I remember. Where? At Goodspeed or in yeah. Seattle? I saw it at Goodspeed. Yeah, and with I Sierra Boggess. I actually, I remember, Sierra Boggess, yes. Uh -huh. Star to be Mary Sierra Faber. Boggess. Mary Faber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jenny yeah. Fellner. Yeah, look at that. That whole cast did pretty well. We all, yeah, we all came out. <laughs> We're still swinging. I did, and I remembered you from that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Princesses yeah, was supposed that to was come like, to Broadway. Right. right. That was, that was the big first. In fact, Sierra Boggess and I, we, um, we got our New York, our like Midtown apartment because we were like, our show's going to Broadway. And, uh, and then Suckers. And then I remember like <laughs> Sierra was like on like her last dime. Like we were really struggling. Yeah. And then she got Les Mis and then she became a huge star. And it was so cool. And then we ended up making our Broadway debuts at the same time right. in two different shows. But, um, but yeah, that, so, I, so I did, I did so that. So you started and, working, pre you, you, you didn't really have those tough like am I am I on the right path moments or I was lucky I mean yeah. I, I had I had enough I had enough like bites that I felt like okay I'm sp I think this is gonna work out yeah you know or at least I'm gonna keep trying right um and and then yeah so did you watch you're the one that I want the reality show leading up yes to because I was cast in the show before that and even you were came already out. cast in it I was cast nine months before that show started rehearsal. I didn't realize that's how it went down. Well, not everybody was cast, okay. but a few people were. Wow. And I was, so I watched the whole thing. And then we were on the last episode. 
Right, I remember that. Hilarious. So you, you watched the whole thing, like going like, who do I want? Who do I want to work with? Who do I want to work? Yeah, with? who do I want to spend every day with for the next year? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was really fun. And uh, how did Max and Laura? Uh, were they okay to do it? With? Oh. I mean, they're both impossible. People. Oh yeah, it's just they're just terrible. No, <laughs> they're wonderful. It, that was such a good experience, and you know to. Uh, to see them like you know go through all of that and to like be there and watch it happen, I mean it was really amazing and and I'm so proud of them and I mean yeah. Laura like come on and it's so fun it it's so fun now to like think back then and and then see her doing everything she's doing and then she we we come and support each other and and you know you go through experiences like that and those people are just your family forever and so it's it's amazing to watch and support yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. So Sherry and I, Scott, a lot of people saw you in Everyday Rapture, yep. uh, the girl on the left. No, I was the girl on the right. For you, but for the audience, you were on the left. Yep. <laughs> Stage wow. right, audience, you're on the left. You're right. Because I'm always <laughs> For like, everybody I'm watching this, right. you were the girl on the left. Yes, but I'm on her right shoulder. Right. Right, Betsy yes, Wolf I'm sorry, we were stage right. It's all right. And Betsy Wolf was stage left, and I just, she right. was in Merrily Run Long, and yes, she was she awesome. Was. She's the best. Talented backup girls. We are <laughs> doing our, you know, we, uh, that was the most amazing trio to sing in ever. Yeah. Ever. Those girls are like my sisters, and we started at second stage. This is my second right. time yeah. at second stage, yeah. um, which is so cool, and, uh, and yeah, that experience was just one of just one of the greatest experiences ever. Sherry is a very talented girl, but she's also a kooky girl. <laughs> she's wild. <laughs> she's she's um she's so special. She's so unique, and um, and she's got one of the biggest hearts of anybody yeah. um, I've ever met. And I I love her. I would take a bullet for that woman. I love her to death. Wow. And she didn't brainwash me to say that. I I really would. She's she's so um she's such a beautiful person. And so just, yeah, she's, she's quirky, but I think that's why audiences love her, yeah. you know? Cause she's just so weird and unique and she'll yeah. say it too, she, she is. But uh, we, Betsy and I, we loved supporting her every night. Like, and we would do it again in a heartbeat. I would do it anytime. I think she's just one of a kind. So you had a nice uh, long running Godspell. Mm -hmm. A lot of people saw you in Godspell. Yes. I'm sure they have the album. I'm wondering what it's like doing a show like that with the audience for that, that period of time. That must have like sort of loosened you up in a lot of ways, no? Yeah, it was it was crazy to... Surrounded and I, by people. Well, and I think about it now because now I'm in a show where the the audience isn't my scene partner. Yeah. I mean, and that, it, it was kind of, um, it was very freeing and also like it could be very draining if the audience wasn't, you know, large or if they weren't with you right. it's like it, it and you're always staring at people in the face you know being like and if people are you know like <laughs> not into it it's it's a long two hours but I mean so so often they were so happy to be there and so excited yeah. and yeah. Um, it was so cool I love doing show in the round too yeah like that was so freeing now you know sometimes Joe's like Turn around, you know, because I, I'll I'll just, you know, turn to the back and he's like, uh, what are you doing? I'm like, oh right. This is proscenium, yes. The audience is not behind me. Okay, great. Um, but it's I spent a year doing that, so So is Ella Fitzgerald Mendez Borth still with us? <laughs> yes. Yeah. My dog. Your doggy. Eh? She's so cute. <laughs> yes, she's still with us. I love that you asked that. What if I like broke well, it's down? Kind of, and that was like right many now. years ago. The yeah. I know it could have been an awful moment. She's still with us. She's um she's a great little gal. Good dog. Little chocolate toy poodle. Um and uh, yeah, she's she's alive and well. Doing and, great. As is your husband, Michael. Yes. And a lot of people don't know you're married. I mean, you got married pretty young. Yes, I did. Um, what happened there? What, 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 <laughs> what why happened? Why you, you, you left right into that? I did. I just, I was, I was really, um, I just, he was my, he's my best friend. Yeah. He was just a no-brainer for me. So we've, um, yeah, been Do together you, for a while. and That must really make the whole uh, actor life easier. Yeah, I, I feel very grounded at home. You know, I, I, I have a great person to go home to every night and, and um, family, you know, a little, yeah. my little family. And um, it's really nice. It, it's, it's like that thing that you don't have to worry about. You know, if you're, it, it's, it's one area of my life that I feel is like, you know, with this business, it's, you're so all over the place all the time. And right. this is like, ah, right. it's, it's so great. You know, a lot of uh, 
kids out there probably know you from like some of these really big shows you've done. Mm -hmm. Why should they come and uh, check out Dogfight? What do, you, what do you think people are gonna? Well, I think I think people are going to um, really fall in love with these characters because yeah. um, you kind of watch them. Um, it's it's their first time. And like losing their innocence, and yeah. it's but it's also like America losing its innocence because it takes place the night before um, President Kennedy was assassinated, yeah. and it's just it's such a it's such a golden time. Like I love that time period, the early '60s, yeah. um, and I just think I think the story is so so beautiful and so sad, and yet also it has a lot of humor in it. Watching these two characters interact, and um, these boy the boys in it are. A riot. I mean, any girl will come and love watching these boys Did for two hours. They all got their buzz cuts. Did they all got their marine cuts. Yeah. They're so handsome. <laughs> we have such a handsome group of gentlemen, I must say. And um, and uh, it's just it's such an awesome story. Do you have any? I know people probably ask this all the time, but do you have any sort of classic uh, musical dream roles or any of the biggies that you want to wrap that voice around? I don't know. Um, I at, at some point like I would love to play like the witch in Into the Woods. Ah, you know, yeah, some day far right. away. Yeah, I love fun. the show um, Flora the Red Menace. Look at I you. would love yeah. to do that. Liza Minnelli. Yeah, can't turn up, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I, 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 I've been like trying to get someone to do a reading of that. Why don't you talk to Joe Mantello about bringing that back? Okay, I will. I'll talk to him. <laughs> just today, yeah. just mention I'll it. I'll mention it during our 12-hour <laughs> tech day today, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Um, I love, I think that's a great role. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm so I'm so interested in doing new things that I, yeah. there's not like, I don't I don't have a huge list because I'm just kind of like, what's next? Right. What's, what are people going to write? And, you right. know, what can I like get my hands on? So well, Right now you have your hands on something really good. Yes. I'm excited, very excited, very excited to see it. Thank you so much. And uh, Dogfight is at Second Stage Theater, and it opens on July 16th, so everyone needs to check it out. Yes. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for Thank coming. you for having me. Good to see you. Yay. Thanks, Broadway.com. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.